everyone welcome to day one of five days of valentine's this is a collaboration between cara brandon and julie as for as of dear julie julie and it's the same idea as that we did at christmas but this one's five days now today the first two first two sheets we have is this one from cara which is a absolutely gorgeous collage sheet and some really, really lovely um, printables, fussy cuts from Julie. Uh, we have a tiny little envelope here, little cards, pretty little fussy cuts. I just love this rose. And some more little pictures here. And they're all vintage. Um, Julie scans old cards and things like that that she has at home. If I bring it up a bit, you might be able to see these a little bit clearer. And they're absolutely gorgeous. So that's today's digitals that we'll be working with today. Now, let me show you where I've got up to so far. If I bring this in. Now, I'm going to be using some of Cara's um, pretty florals as well as the kit um, from, from this five days of. Now, the two kits are in both stores because obviously Julie's done her five days and her kit is in her, her store and Cara the same and both kits are 50% off at the moment which is a really really good bargain isn't it so let me just move all these off the top this is where I've been doing some fussy cutting and getting organized right so so far I've just put a cover on here to make a journal I've not covered the inside yet but this is one of the tags that I've made um, this is a fussy cut that I've cut out out of a book and I've used the, one of Cara's little labels from her kit, the fancy florals, with a bit of doily underneath. These are papers from Cara's kit. And here's another one that I've made, another lovely tag. And this bit, I'm going to show you how, how you can get all of this out of one piece of paper shortly. Just pop that back in there. And so I, I know where they're going to go later on. Right, and then here, this bingo card, that comes from Cara's kit as well. So I've torn it down to make a little pocket. And obviously this is going to be a journaling card. And this is from our Julie. Then up the top here, I've got the envelope from Julie, which is so cute. Look at it. It's calling card size, absolutely tiny. And the little um, printable here. When you fold it, if you fold it this way, to have this on the front, it's opening the wrong way or you've got to have it upside down okay and it actually looks okay upside down I quite like it upside down but what I've done is I've um, used a stencil and I've, I've stenciled the back pop one of the little fussy cuts on the front and then pop that bit in the middle and there's another little fussy cut on there and the stencil that I'm using at the moment is called Bella Rose and that's from Linda Linda Israel and I will link that and it's, it was the one stencil from Linda that I really, really wanted. And it took me a good year to actually get it. If I pop it on a piece of white card, you'll be able to see it properly. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love this, this um, stencil. I really do. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Right, and then on here, I've got a belly band going on another pocket and another tag okay. and all of that will come from one sheet of paper now it's A4 so if you just tweak the measurements slightly you'll get it out of a letterhead you know an American letterhead this is one of the envelopes from Cara's kit as well and then here I've got another belly band and I've, this is just this was like a bit of scrap when I was cutting it off and then I've turned that into a and they're both marry up and I thought it was quite nice to have them both the same and the stencil as you can see is on the back again Oops. I like these paper clips but they're not the easiest to squidge things into now this is the bit of scrap that I've got left over I've not decided what I'm doing with it yet but I'm keeping hold of that because I'm sure I will come up with something later so that's as far as I've got at the moment and obviously it's only day one isn't it now if you get a piece of paper, let's say, right, we've got this digital here. 
The first thing I did was took all the little bit of white off around the outside, which made it a bit smaller. Then I've cut it. Now I've got this here. If I talk you through it, and if you take um, a picture of that, if I leave it up, and I'll put it up again at the end, it will show you exactly which bit to cut first. And you will land up with a belly band or two pockets here, a pocket here, a belly band here, and this tiny little bit of scrap that I showed you, which I've not decided what I'm doing with yet, but that will come up later. And your three tags. This is not to size. This is just me playing around. <laughs> but this is how you do it, okay? So the first thing you do is you cut down, and this will measure six inches, okay? So you've got this piece here. Then you take one and a half inches off the bottom, okay, and a quarter of an inch off the top. Then the piece that's left over, you cut in half, so they're like three inches each, and that's your two tags and your belly band, okay? This piece, okay, you now cut from there to there three inches, okay? And then this tag and the other tags measure about six and a quarter inches. So you will cut that bit off, okay? And that will make a pocket and that will be your third tag. And then this bit that's left over here, you can either make into a belly band or a couple of pockets. It's quite easy to do and you know I'm sure you can tweak it because this here obviously that's where you can come back forward with it and, and here and here you've got little bits of, of leeway but that's how I managed to get three tags and the pockets out of one piece of paper so I will pop that up again at the end just to show you how I did it now I've got three more tags that I've done now, what I've done so far is I back these onto some card. Now this is from the cat's Licky Licks that he likes. He just absolutely loves that stuff. Um, it's like a yogurty type of thing. Um, and this one has cat grass and liver and that in it and he just absolutely adores it. So I've backed them first and then I've added a wee bit of lace at the top of each to make it look like a tag. And I've just zigzag stitched all the way around. And that's where I've got to. I've now got some fussy cuts that I was doing yesterday. I was just cutting bits out, as I did with the other ones. So this is kind of like showing you what to do with those, but obviously with different flowers. So I've got some fussy cuts and I've got some bits of, other bits of ephemera. So let me just take and just have one up because otherwise we're going to get, you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Let's just pick that one up there. Um, I've got bits of, you know, ephemera from Cara and some more of these little tag things and the tickets. Now, the tickets and these tags and these bits all come from Cara's other kit, the, 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 flo the pretty florals, okay? And then I've also got a couple of little tiny bits from Julie left over here. Okay, so that will give me an idea of what I'm going to do. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is decide which of these I want to pop on here. Um, I've got that big one there. I quite like that. Is that going to be too much? I think it's a bit, a little bit of a bigger one. Let's try that one. Yeah, I think I'm going to pop that one on first. So let's just grab my glue. So she's stretching. <laughs> I, I could reach it before because where I've got the, the tripod set up, I can't reach around it. Now, because this is quite pale, I didn't actually uh, distress ink around my cutouts because it was, um, I'm using a very pale pink anyway. And I decided I wanted to keep it as light as possible. I didn't want to go too dark. So let's have a look which way they look a bit better. Can't be there. Get it as much on as possible. There we go. Now, the little, these little things, okay, what colour, will that colour go? That colour will go, won't it? Yeah. Now, I've got a date stamp here, and I've got it on the 14th of February, 2021. Just check that is the 14th. 
project, yeah. And I just stamped all these like that. And I'll stamp that one as well while I'm at it. There we go. And what I'm using at the moment is the spun sugar, which is really, really soft. It's a very, very soft pink. some doily here as well that I've been cutting out. Uh, let's just put a bit of doily off. Like that. Cut there. Cara is making some gorgeous kits. She really is. Um, you know, for a newbie, and the last works, um, I'm just in awe of how beautiful the work is that she does. She, you know, she just really has that eye. You know, when somebody has got the, the eye for how, where things should go and how colours should match together. Our Cara has got that so well. There we go. Pop that on there. Well, we're expecting more snow and we've already got snow down and, um... There was frost the other day on top of the snow, which was really great, great, great fun. You know, a hoar frost, you know, one of those really ones where it looks like it's been snowing, but it's not, it's, it's frost. So nobody's been out very far. Um, and the home learning, the kids all seem to have settled into it really, really well. The mums that I've spoken to are all saying, you know, that, that they, you know, the kids are actually really settling in. Um, they start at like nine o'clock in the morning and most some of the lessons are remote where they um if I put that where did I put it? There, that's it. Where they um you know the teachers in class and teaches the whole class off the computer and other stuff is is what they do with their mums. I'm still giggling at the kids having to look for a squirrel in this weather. I don't think the teacher thought about that one. I mean, the poor things will be hibernating, won't they? <laughs> oh dear. I'm still so, I'm so tempted to put a picture in the window of a squirrel for the kids. <laughs> that when they go past, they say, yeah, we found a squirrel on our walk. Oh dear. Hang on. That's, is that straight? Sorry. Yeah, it, it is. When, you, when you're doing it under a camera <laughs> and you're trying to get it in the place so everybody can see it, sometimes you can't see if you're straight or not. I can so have sympathy for the girls um, on TV when they're doing the demonstrating, you know, um, to say, right, this is where this goes and all the rest of it. And, of course, they can't stick their head over the top, you know, particularly if they're using the overhead camera to see where they're going. There we go. So that's another one done. I like that one. Right, let's pull another one through. Right, what we're going to use on that one. Well, that one look on that one that seems to sink into that doesn't it might have to put on another one right what about here if we cut some of the leaves off yeah so i have to cut some of the leaves off so i'm just going to cut a little bit off already so it's easier to stick it down there's no point in sticking it and putting glue over everything when you're not going to be sticking all that bit down are they um, I'm absolutely amazed. Amazon must have realised people want this glue that I use. <laughs> Normally it was taking something like three or four weeks to get the Nouveau glue. And when you think Nouveau are based in Wales, <laughs> it's just crazy. I don't understand why it takes so long for it to arrive. It's, it's really, really nuts. Um, but went on yesterday, and they actually said I could have it as next day delivery. I was like, oh my goodness. Well, 
Well, I don't know how many of you are on Etsy, but there seems to be some really big problems with Etsy at the moment. Since we've came out of the European Union, anybody in Europe buying from here has to pay tax on anything they buy from here. And anybody in the UK, and I believe Germany is the other place, you have to give them your tax number or national insurance number so that if you go over about a thousand pound i think it is you can earn before you you have to pay you know more tax on it you know tax free um so i think there's going to be an awful lot of people coming away from etsy um i know a few friends are on zibit but when i looked at zibit the other day um, it was saying that to go on to Zibit, you have to have two places that you are selling from. So in other words, maybe an Etsy store and a website, or I don't know, if maybe a Facebook page or something like this. And I thought, you know, that's a heck of a lot of need, you know, because obviously with Etsy, why people liked Etsy was because they did everything. If you've got, um, you're selling to America, for example, um, all the different states have different types of taxes in them. Um, when you're buying, you know, off, off Etsy, and they, they, they did it all. And in the UK, we have value added tax, VAT, and they did all that for you as well, you know, and they automatically sent it off for you. So you don't actually have to deal with that side. But I'm wondering who they're trying to catch. Personally, I think they're trying to catch the people who must have quite a big selling point and are not actually, you know, owning up to having a shop or something. It's the only thing I can think. But, you know, the laws are getting so difficult. I was looking, there was a guy, he was in Spain, and he goes over to what he was calling The Rock. And when he goes over there, he buys things like... Um, you know, the hot chocolate, Cadbury's hot chocolate, for example. And now a lot of the things, if he buys them and takes them back because he can't get them where he lives, he has to pay tax on them. And um, I don't think anybody, when they, you know, we, we came out of the European Union, was told about all these things that are going to happen. It's sad, isn't it? I think they should have left sleeping dogs lie. I can still remember when we had all the adverts on the telly in the 70s for the decimalisation. In fact, it was a bit earlier than that, wasn't it? You know, all the little jingles telling you how much what was worth. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just wondering what I could do in here. I don't know whether any of these are actually merit. Oops, that's upside down. I think that might be too much. I like that one there. Let me cut a little bit of that white off. Like that. Like that. Well, We Harmony is doing really, really well. Bless her heart. Um, she's dropped a feed already. And um, she's been to the hospital. She's having a cast. And... Um, you know, they've got everything in place and it's all going to be done over the next 10 weeks is what my son was saying. So they've really jumped on it quick with her and, I, you know, that really is lovely, isn't it? They've done it so quick. So obviously once she got, grows up, she's not even going to remember any of what she's going to be going through to straighten her wee legs and arms. But they're going to do the feet and the ankles first and then they'll do the arms afterwards. But she's a bonny wee thing. She really is. There, that's another one. Right, that's three done. That's two done. Can we just get this one done? Now then, I wonder if that will ma marry up on that one. Actually, that will, won't it? That will actually look okay on that one. If you bring it down, I could see the butterfly, couldn't I? Yeah, we we'll pop you on that one. Let's just stick the glue on. I love finding books that have got really beautiful 
flowers in that you can cut up. I mean, obviously I always buy two because <laughs> um, I like to have one for me that's loved and cared for and then the other one can be cut up. Yeah, and that then you can also see that the flower underneath, can't you? That worked out well. Got lovely sticky fingers this morning. I'm not sure why I've got so much glue on my fingers. Right, let's have a look. I'm wondering whether she's got something else up here. What have we got here? No, that's too much. What's that there? What have we got on the back of that there? No, I don't know. I think these might be too hefty to stick on with, aren't they? Yeah, I'll keep them for pockets. Um, what's this here? Cut for Stuart. Well, it's Hattie Stewart, but I can't really read the first name. No, it's something Hattie Stewart. Uh, I just wonder if I cut that down a little bit, we could stick that on. Yeah. Hattie, I've not heard that name in years. Hattie. Of course, there was a lovely Hattie Jakes, who um, was very, very popular over here in the UK as an actress. You know, she was she was a comedian. Yeah. She was with Eric Sykes in a lot of um, TV series. Yeah. The pink's not quite matching perfectly, but it's okay. It's so lovely and quiet. <laughs> it's like nine o'clock in the morning and it is so quiet. And yet I, I know the kids are downstairs. They must be um they must be doing their studying. And there's one lovely mum just here and uh, she's got four kids and she's due another one and um the wee one, she's what, two? And as soon as her brothers and sister sit down to study, she starts. <laughs> so poor mum's pulling her hair out, you know, that she's making, you know, she runs around and makes all this noise. But I said to her, I said, come on, I said, just think of how many other people are in the same position and have got their own kids running around. <laughs> it makes for learning, doesn't it? It makes it all fun. I can leave it like that. I don't really want to put any more on that one. Right, so that's another three tacks done. And I think they are so pretty. I really do. And the other thing I did with that collage sheet is I made an envelope. I made a wee envelope. And again, inside, this is the stenciling that I did with the Bella Rose uh, stencil. I'm going to be using that right the way through this. And it's just given a lovely, lovely effect inside. Now, I actually used a stencil on this one this time. I got this stencil off the front of a magazine. Oh my goodness. It's got to be at least 15 years old. Look at this way, it's nearly vintage itself. <laughs> uh, you Can Craft. So it must have been a You Can Craft magazine and it'd been stuck by my computer. I've got a couple, you know the, the little, um, the boxes that you have, you can put letters and things in. You know, they're hard cardboard and they've got you know, it's about that deep at the front and then you can just stick them all in and the back's like high enough to stick all your A4 papers in. Um, and I've had it in there for years and I think about it and I see it and sometimes I think, do I throw it out? Don't I throw it out? And when I was doing envelopes, oh, a couple of weeks ago, I thought, I'm going to try that. And do you know, it makes really, really good envelopes. Um, but the other way of making envelopes, obviously, is to take and make a stencil, which I'm always going on about. So obviously... What you do is whatever kit you have that has an envelope in it, use that, draw around it onto a piece of card, cut it out and keep that as your stencil. Another way, obviously, if you've got an envelope indoors, now obviously this size is about the size of the envelopes we can get here. Just very carefully unpeel this bit here and then use that as a template. And you can glue it back up again afterwards, and you know, so you can use it as an envelope again. And that will give you a template. Um, and obviously the other way of making an envelope, I'll just pull this forward, is this way. Where you 
bring the bottom up like that and bring the top over like that and that gives you like a pouch type envelope like that and then you can put velcro underneath to close it or you can put the ones where you put a little circle there and a little circle there and twiddle the thread round you know there's different ways of closing it but that is always lovely right in the middle of a signature because what you will do is you will sew it down here when you're putting your, your signature in you put your three whole pamphlet stitch in and then you will fold this over and this over and that will be right in the middle of your signature which is really lovely because then you can put all manner of things in here you know it's great if you're giving this to somebody because they can then put all their bits and bats in here and keep them secure and they're not going to fall out or go anywhere so that's a little bit on envelopes so she I've already puckered that up um, this is the sheet that I've been using today out of Cara's kit just so you can see where I got it all from here's the bingo card that I cut down well I, I used a tear ruler actually to get that there and your tickets and your labels just in case you're interested in those as well well that's it for today sweet guys and girls um, tomorrow obviously will be day two and I'm just gonna pop this up so you can take a note of all these measurements um, as I say in America, you're going to have to tweak it slightly, but if you've got these measurements first, you can then tweak it, can't you? Um, but this way worked out so well. And the reason why I did this bit here was so that I could get, um, if you look here, I wanted more of the flowers in this. So I'm just taking that little bit off the top there, which gives me enough of this and a bit more of the rose because otherwise I would have, wouldn't have had much of the rose in it it was sort of like right up here but you don't have to take that bit off if you don't want to that is entirely up to you um, you know however you decide to do it so have an amazing day everybody hope you're going to come around tomorrow I'm going to have the ash put my teeth back in again <laughs> I will add the hashtag to this um, I couldn't find it this morning for some strange strange reason um there's 10 girls who are going to be doing this on um cara brandon's and dear julie julie's groups you know between the two they're the elves uh they're calling us elves again i thought they would have called us something else but <laughs> we're the elves again um and they are lovely girls most of them i know from christmas so i will link them all below and if you've got time do go and visit them too that would be really really lovely and the other thing I want to say is thank you so much for supporting us yet on Sunday, the shout out. That was unbelievable. It was so lovely to see some of you girls that I've known for quite a while now um, who follow me here and I know on Facebook are then coming into group, saying hi and wanting to join in the next shout out. Um, I think it's going to be fortnightly. Um, everybody's sort of agreeing that they, they want more um, and a comment or two that we've had will be fortnightly because with new people coming in it will give everybody a chance um, you know I think how we'll do is this is the people who have just had a shout out they won't be included this month you know on the next one because they've had a shout out you know they will need to miss a month or something but we'll work those details out anyway so if you want to be part of the shout outs Pop into Cara's group and you will then be in there and you'll get the notification when we make the event. It'll be an event and it will probably be a fortnight from Sunday past. Okay? So thank you so much for being here. Um, do pop over and, and grab these off of Cara and off of Julie. They are absolutely gorgeous. They really are. I mean, as I say, I, I just get so in awe of, of how beautifully done these are that, that our, our lass has done our car. I, I'm just tickled pink every time I see them. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, everybody. Love and blessings. Bye.